What is up? I'm Sergeant Ballistic, but you guys can call me Brian. Thank you for checking out this video today. I'm back at it again with the all white PC mods. This is Project Arashikage. And the uh, last kind of vlog update, I'm calling like phase two, we started doing a little bit of mods in order to make the PC's overall white uh, kind of color scheme come through more. So we replaced the drive cages, we re, uh, put in some sleeved extensions, and uh, I think that definitely looks nice. Today we're gonna try to step it up a little bit, and I'm gonna be doing some paintings, both the fan and the uh, EVGA backplate for the GTX 980 for the win that I have. I uh, haven't done a lot of painting of PC components, at least in the last like, five years, never painted a backplate, never painted a fan. I uh, got a couple different things, got some uh, masking tape that came from the recommendation of Bill Owen. Uh, it's supposed to not stick and bleed as much as the kind of blue painter's tape, which I've, I've tried already and it doesn't even really cut all that well. Also picked up some kind of vinyl dye or vinyl spray paint dye type of stuff that I saw that uh, Wendell and uh, Logan used in their um, their video on painting a heat shroud. Not gonna do the video card heat shroud today. Gonna leave that off for another video. I think that's gonna be an entire video of itself. But yeah, I'm gonna use that stuff to paint the fans because it's supposed to actually like soak in to the plastic so you don't have to prime it. Um, we'll see how that turns out. Then I picked up Plastidip and Plastidip Glossifier for the uh, uh, video card backplate. So hopefully that stuff will work out. I haven't used that on anything in terms of a PC. I've known, I've seen a lot of people do it. I know uh, Linus used it in one of his videos to paint some pieces of a graphics card. So we're gonna find out how this goes. Let's get into it. So kind of the first step in this process is gonna be prepping some stuff. I'm gonna be prepping the fans and prepping the backplate with uh, masking tape. Again, I've never done this before, so I'm kind of just playing it by ear, looking at some different stuff I have seen online, and I have masked and painted a couple things like Nerf guns and stuff like that. So just drawing on that experience and just playing things by ear. Now for the fans, I wanna make sure that all of the bearing components are completely covered. I don't want any paint to be able to leak in there, so I'm gonna be doing like triple and quadruple coats of masking tape on that just to make sure it won't have any adverse effects on the fan's performance. The fan housings, I'm not worried about too much. I just wanna get nice even coats on there and if it kind of cakes up or anything like that, I can maybe sand it down and, and flatten it out. The blades, I'm really worried about. No fan manufacturers except for the EK Varders I've ever seen ever recommend painting fans. These, these fractal design Venturi fans snap apart really easily so that you can paint the blades without having to have them on the housing. But when you're painting blades you have to make sure you do very very even coats you don't want the fan blades to become unbalanced because it can actually cause cavitation and weird things where the fans don't spin evenly which will cause the fans to become louder and also can end up having some detrimental overall effects so I'm just using a utility knife in order to cut the masking tape it's working out pretty well these are fans they're not you know like something really really prominent in your build you mostly see them from the side maybe the rear exhaust fan you do kind of see the hub but I'm just just doing the best job I can and we'll see how it turns out. So now I'm prepping the back plate. I'm gonna use this piece of cardboard to cover up the majority of it and then use masking tape to go around the edges. The plan is to only paint the top and very thin edges of it. You know, basically the components that you'll see. There's actually some heat pads on the back of this back plate as the back plate can help dissipate heat. I don't wanna interfere with that in any way, shape or form. I looked at a couple places online that said generally painting the back plate is not too big of a deal. The heat dissipation that you do get from it is, you know, pretty minimal, less than a degree a lot of the time but it is helpful. So in terms of spray painting, you always wanna to try to make sure you're in a well-ventilated area, preferably outside, but you also have to worry about things like dust and bugs and all that kind of stuff when you're outside. So, so I tried different places and moved around depending on what was available to me and what time of day. The housings aren't too big of a deal. I just need to make sure I do even coats and it's a little hard to get it from all the different angles. I'm definitely envious of big modders like Bill Owen and BS Mods who have just whole areas dedicated to painting. I know Linus and his wife actually spent like Valentine's weekend building a ventilated spray paint tent for them to do spray painting mods on at the Linus Media Group headquarters. But you do the best you can with what you have. You learn along the way. Taking a look at the first few coats, I wasn't really happy with them, particularly on the fan blades themselves there was a little bit of buildup where I kind of rushed and oversprayed and this vinyl paint kind of spits a lot sometimes which ends up causing like a runniness and then you get uneven areas so what I'm gonna do is try to sand down the paints on the blades to make it nice and even and then we're gonna do some more coats 
So the second coats of the fan blades turned out a lot better. I made sure to not be nearly as heavy this time around and did a lot more coats, trying to make it as even as possible and I'm pretty happy with the results. So now we're gonna move on to the back plate. I've used Plastidip. If you guys aren't familiar with this, Plastidip can easily be kind of just pulled off down the road. It's a rubbery substance. Some people use it to kind of get grip on certain items and a lot of people use it to kind of like plastic dip their rims so that they can get them to be all black or a different color. So of course we've got white here. We want to be able to paint the back plate and be able to pull it off, you know, if I want to change the color or use this in another build down the road. One thing that's kind of really hard to avoid is getting a little bit of a textured feeling to whatever you're plastic dipping. It just kind of comes with the territory. You can see it up close. You can feel it if you're actually touching it. And I'm also going to be using this glossifier, which kind of gives it less of a matte look and a little bit more of a sheen. With this stuff, I'm doing fairly lighter coats but not as light as I did with the fan blades I think it took about five or six coats until I wasn't able to see any of the black coming through then I called it quits and switched over to the glossifier I've never actually used this stuff before but it sprays on pretty nice and evenly so I have high hopes I'm doing a little bit heavier coats with this so here are some of the final results as you can see they're not perfect if I had to give myself a grade I'd probably give myself like a C plus or a B but all of this knowledge I've gained will hopefully come in handy when I'm doing other mods down the road fan housings look pretty damn good you can see that a lot of the detail and like the fractal design and and the Venturi series fan logos are really still coming through, which is nice. So that is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Maybe learned a little something, things to do, things not to do. At the very least, I hope you were inspired to hopefully start doing some more uh, PC mods on your rig. Next steps for this project are probably gonna be spread out through a few different videos. Gotta get the pans pulled all back together. Need to do some custom sleeving on those. I haven't done any custom sleeving in a really long time. Kind of played around with it on one of the fans and wasn't really happy with the results. So I'm gonna do a little bit of a research, buy some different uh, materials and equipment. So hopefully that'll be good. I need to get the back plate installed. I might do that as a whole different how to video. Let me know what you guys think about that. I've had a, quite a few people asking about installing a backplate if one didn't come on their GPU. Then we're gonna maybe tackle trying to paint the heat shroud. That'll probably be its own dedicated video. Then eventually I have a buddy named Reicher working on some custom vinyl stuff for me. So we're gonna be doing vinyl across all sorts of different uh, components, the case, some of uh, the fans and the uh, backplate and stuff like that. So can't wait to see how those are turned out. Big thanks to Reicher for helping me out with this. I'm gonna have links to his uh, Twitter in the description so you guys can go follow him. Thanks again for watching the video. Go ham on that like button if you enjoyed the video. Subscribe if you haven't for more PC mods. I've got PC builds coming every month for you guys. Really excited about that. Reviews and unboxings coming up. Hopefully a couple giveaways. I keep teasing about that, but they're coming, I promise you. Thanks again for watching. Peace out.